Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel today. I want to invite you to study with me. I always get questions on how I study, if I have a study routine, what my study routine is. To be honest, I don't have a study routine. I don't like sticking to a routine, but I like to study or learn spontaneously. That means when I really want to and when I really feel like it. Obviously for school you have to study when you have like vocabulary tests coming up or any kind of exams coming up or even not just for exams but just like to be on top like in class. So I'm just gonna show you my methods on productivity and how I basically learn new vocabulary. So if you wanna know then let's go ahead and study together. <laughs> Alright, first off, let me tell you guys that this video is brought to you in collaboration with PDF Element Pro. What is PDF Element Pro? It's an editing software that can help you make things a lot easier when studying and overall be more productive. The software helps you edit PDF files like Word documents, add annotations and notes, create, fill and sign forms and much more. It is compatible with both PC and Mac. As you guys can see, I am currently working with a PDF file that is from my Chinese workbook. I personally prefer making edits and annotations, in this case translations, on the file directly instead of scratching into my book pages. I find that it is way more clear and cleaner for me to just have like a clean layout overall. Of course, you can do tons of other things as you can see on the upper bar. Besides adding annotations and translations, I especially like to underline things. On the sidebar you have colors that you can choose from. And this also really helps to structure your study and just be more productive overall. Go on the website, click on the link down below and check PDF Element Pro out and all students get 40% off the software. Alright, first things first, you always want to have a clean workspace. Just arrange yourself like how you want your things to be laid out on your desk, on your table, whatever you're working with. Obviously to be productive you need to have a clean mind and a clean mind comes with a clean environment. So this is the first step. I really like to clean out everything to get like all clutter out and everything out of your mind and just to be able to concentrate on the essential which is your studying task, right? So what I like to do is lay out my things. Here I have my workbooks, those are three. And then I have like a little notebook. Then I have obviously like a couple of pens. Markers are very important, I always have a marker then um, obviously like my pens and whatever you you need like basically you could also have a pencil whatever you need and I always also have my um, computer because I like to look up things on, on the dictionary and I also have a manual like dictionary but you know nowadays everything is faster online so I like to do that on the computer at the same time So I really recommend having like a good chair to sit on. Obviously this is not like a working chair. It's quite comfortable so it's okay. And the height of the table is also very important while studying because you want to have a good posture. Another important thing to do is to make sure that you have good lighting. Obviously daylight is the best light but if you are a nighttime studier like me, I do basically everything at night, I work at night, um, that's just me, then you obviously want to make sure even more that you have good lighting because I found that the less lighting you have, like the worse lighting you have, the worse your eyes are going to get and they're really going to get overstressed. So you really don't want to do that and with overstressed eyes, everything is just getting like stressed and blurry. I used to do that like study overnight and it was so stressful because I didn't see well and everything so obviously I don't want to do this again so I'm making sure that I have enough lighting and the best lighting. Another tip that I can give you and that I absolutely like to do is 
I like to listen to dialogues repeat and then record myself repeating. I find that like this I learned the most and best and fastest because I am more of an auditory learner that means I learn by hearing and by basically imitating sounds and accents so that's what I really love to do so I record myself or I ask people who are native speakers to record things they're saying and I simply repeat them and that's what I would listen to over and over again until I got the accent right. Obviously, I don't only do that with dialogues, but I also like to do that with vocabulary. So I repeat every single word, I listen to it first, then I repeat it and record. And then after recording it, I would listen to it and go over it and just like repeat out loud. Basically, like talk to myself and repeat out loud the vocabulary that I'm hearing. And the next step is to basically listen to what you recorded, listen to the words that you are speaking and once you repeat them like constantly and you listen to them like on the go wherever you are, you will get them in your system like in your brain automatically. I also used to use this method when I would have to memorize something for school, uh, like for example a poem, I would just record myself telling the poem and then just listen to it over and over again and like that I learned it so quickly. Another very important tip, last but not least, is that you really focus on one thing and you do one thing at a time and one thing after another. For me at least it doesn't really help if I try to do many things at once but if I focus on for example studying vocabulary then I will focus mainly on the vocabulary that I want to study and just do that and focus on each word at a time and not try to get in like as much as possible but really take my time and as you guys see i mark i take my time then i really try to take them in then i repeat and reproduce them so that's a method that really works for me those were the tips that i like to use when studying languages i really hope that you could get something out of these tips and that you might also want to try some and let me guys know in the comments below and also for the other viewers if you have any other tips. Don't forget to check out the link down below and thank you so much for watching.